Hello everyone. Welcome back to my excursions carnage. Last time I pulled the tranny to find uh, the input shaft was snapped off. Pretty fresh looking break. The slave is all busted up. Let's take some of this garbage out of here. some good stuff right there huh oh yeah look at that snapped her off believe it or not that's not the first time I've seen this but it is the first time that I've personally seen this I was thinking that this all came out the front. I'm wrong. This is gonna get a little bit more involved than I thought. Just letting you guys know I've never had one of these apart. I don't know what I'm doing. So this is not a how-to video. I can't really break it a whole lot worse, I guess, so. Well, just appears I had to put a little bit more pressure on it.
Well, I should have been paying attention. Looks like I gotta take the shaft out the rest of the way. There's my input shaft. There you go guys. Well, here it is all apart. And a little bit of advice. If I were to do this again, I'd probably have the rear of the transmission down and pull the top case off because uh, behind this synchro ring there's these little detents and springs a couple of them went shooting out and I had to go find them so if you take it apart this way that'd be fine this gear one have to come out I'm pretty sure and uh, I'm gonna replace the input seal while it's apart and this uh, bolt that holds this shaft from moving around. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's almost like they make it to be tamper proof. The other bolt was even worse. You can't really get a wrench in there. So I went and got uh, a couple new bolts. Those you'll have no problem getting a wrench in. I'll probably put a dab of Loctite on it. I think the reason they do that is so somebody doesn't pull that out thinking it's a drain plug or something like that. Well, I got uh, parts coming for this and they should be here any day. And then I'll get this thing put back together. Oh, another thing is the magnet slides into this part here. So that slid out when I took it apart. So they all stay in there if you take it apart this way. I'm pretty sure the reason that came apart so hard is because there's uh, detent balls and springs that go on the shafts and they're in that upper case. I'm not exactly sure what the remedy for that would be. I'm probably not going to have too many of these apart in my lifetime. Hopefully this is the last time this one's apart. But, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate all the new subscriptions. Remember to hit that 
subscribe button and the bell to be notified for future videos. You guys are always welcome to give me future video ideas. And uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the views. God bless and take care.